program is designed for undergraduates who are interested in pursuing graduate school in a variety of healthcare professions. It's an interprofessional program, so we have students that are interested in anything from medicine and dentistry to physical therapy and occupational therapy. Um, and the main thing we're looking for is students that want to practice in rural setting. We have sites from Barrow to Ketchikan, so we span the full, the full state, and some of them are a little bit more rural than others. Uh, one of our more rural sites was this past year was Fort Yukon, which is a very, very a tiny little village outside in the interior, um, outside of Fairbanks. Then we also had some little bit larger sites like Soldatna, um, and then the rural hubs like Barrow. The experience itself has a lot of facets to it. For one of the things that they'll be doing is uh, going into the clinics and doing job shadowing so they can really feel what it feels like to be a rural provider out in Alaska. Um, the other kinds of things that they'll do is really immerse in the culture, so we want them to get an experience of what do you do on the weekends, what do you do in your free time, um, what kinds of things are there to really become part of the community. So we wanted it to be more than just a clinical experience. We wanted them to have um, a full feel of what it's like to live in a rural Alaska community. And I've gotten quite a bit of experience here and I've got to see you know, many things. We got to see um, all sorts of different hospitals back in Anchorage and all sorts of different um, ways that they look at healthcare. And I kind of fell into the community here so I definitely Feel like part of the family but it's definitely an amazing experience and it will set you aside from most people in med school because who gets to go to Alaska and see the rural sites? Not many people. So we're uh, a patient-centered medical home so we do family practice medicine here. We also do some acute care medicine uh, where things are evolving so strokes, heart attacks, allergic reactions, those kind of things. Big trauma things will often go uh, directly to the emergency room via ambulance, but a lot of the stuff we'll seeing is um, from womb to tomb. So we'll see babies, we'll see elderly folks, and then um, trying to address all their healthcare needs in one place. So uh, behavior health needs, dental needs, we have a dentist here. Uh, we also have visiting specialty care clinics that come in here. So, um, and then we can also complement care so we can uh, draw bloods and give uh, the results to their specialty specialist in Anchorage or where their offices are. Especially up here in Alaska, the more rural you are, the more integrated your clinic is because um, you have to go so far to get like x-rays, labs, dispensary for medications, and um, we are the closest acute, we're not emergency room, but we are the closest facility that can actually deal with an acute situation until EMS can get here and take them on to emergency room in town. We're a 13 bed, 14 if you count the double room one, which is our trauma room, and uh, we often, especially in the summer, fill up like for most of the day. Because I went from an 800 bed hospital and then came here to a 30 bed hospital at that time, it was quite different. You know, we didn't have physicians in the house all the time. We had physicians who would see their patients in the morning, then they would go to their office, and then they would come at lunchtime, then they would come back again in, after their hours. So we would have to call, and we managed a lot. So there were a lot of patients we couldn't keep here. If they were too sick, we would have to medevac them to Anchorage. Um, but now we have internal med um, internists, or hospitalists rather, excuse me. We have hospitalists that are here 24 hours a day. Varies dramatically day by day, so and ex uh, actually also from season to season. So um, during the winter months it can be a little slower, um, and you have a variety of other injuries and accidents and illnesses, and then come summertime we um, are a pretty big tourist uh, location, and so we have a pretty big influx of seasonal employees and tourists that come in. Since we are the only hospital within probably around, what, 80 miles or something like that, we get everything. We get everything from pediatrics to old people to heart patients to surgeries. Like, we get everything. It's an ER. You know, <laughs> we see just like everybody else sees, you know, throughout the United States. Normally, we are pretty hopping throughout the day. If you're in a rural area, you are also the person that's going to take care of the dogs. We get a lot of fish hooks. Or bear spray in the eyes. Chainsaw accidents. Got to see some gnarly infections. 
um, some pretty good upper respiratory issues, quite a few x-rays, um, got to see a fracture. But anything could happen. Well, it's beautiful here. It really is. Um, and it's not as cold as what everybody thinks it is, um, even though I'm cold all the time. Um, but it's not like freezing. And the snow is beautiful. However, we have not had very much snow. And um, I will say that if you are coming here for the nightlife and social activities, not so much. We actually went up and camped in Denali. So it was quite fun. I got to see quite a bit of wildlife, grizzly bears and caribou and all that kind of stuff. We got rained on, so that was nice. Um, and then downtown is, it is the cutest town. It reminds me of like Six Flags, <laughs> like the little souvenir area. Um, found out I'm allergic to cottonwood. <laughs> found that out the hard way. Um, you know, all those theories about what Alaska is like and, and that it's covered in ice and people live in igloos and, and things like that, they come and see that's not really true, that we're a lot like the rest of the world and we um, have normal houses and we have normal medical facilities and, and um, we function mostly like everybody else. We have our own quirks and our, our own um, things that make us a little bit different, but, um, but Alaska is a great place to come and see. I think Alaska has a lot of unique things about it. I think it... Uh, working in the medical field in Alaska um, allows me to live in a rural setting, which I really enjoy. And um, to have um, a, a position or a job or a profession in a rural area is sometimes a little bit tricky. And sometimes entering as a medical provider, or medical assistant, a nurse, whatever, is a way of sort of contributing to a small community, but also having the benefits of living in a rural area.